Mijibil the Otter by Gavin Maxwell. Gavin Maxwell was born in Elric, Scotland. After serving in Second World War, he returned to Scotland to pursue his interest in nature and mythology and writing. His best-selling work is Ring of Bright Water, published in the year 1960. He describes his life with to pet otters. In doing so, he reveals his deep affection for otters. It was followed by the sequels, The Rocks Remain, God Protect Me from My Friends, The Pains of Death, A Reed Shaken by the Wind. In the story, Mijibil the Otter, the author describes the time when he met his pet otter, Mijibil, and fell completely in love with him. Let us see the summary of the story. In 1956, the author Gavin Maxwell was in southern Iraq. He decided to get an otter for a pet. He believed his home in Scotland, Camus Fairna, would be an ideal place to raise an otter. When he confided his wish to be his friend, his friend replied that he would find good ones from Tigrish marshes. They were travelling to the consulate in Basra to collect their mail. The narrator found upon arriving that his mail wasn't there. A few days later, he found two Arabs in his room bearing an otter and a note from his friend. The otter looked like a small dragon and was covered with pointed scales, velvet fur and mud. Mijbil was a previously unknown species of otter and was later named as Lutrogel Perspicillata Maxwelli or Maxwell's otter. For Maxwell, this was the start of a lifelong affection for otters. Mijibil, on the other hand, was aloof and indifferent at first. On the second night, however, Mijibil crawled into bed with Maxwell and slept on his knees. With fondness, Maxwell remembered Mijibil's delight when he discovered the bath. Mijibil splashed around the water happily. Otters, Maxwell stated, loved to play with water. Two days later, Maxwell found Mijibil in the bathroom, turning on the water tap by himself. Mijibil adjusted to his new life with Maxwell. His favorite pastime was play. He would spend hours playing with a rubber ball or rolling marbles down his belly while lying flat on his back. Maxwell and Mijibil spent their time peacefully at Basra. But Maxwell worried about transporting Mijibil back to England. In accordance with the airplane guidelines, Mijibil was to be packed in an 18-inch square box. Maxwell put Mijibil into the box and left so that Mijibil would become accustomed to the space. When he returned, he was amazed to find blood on the box. Mijibil, it turned out, had tried to escape and had cut himself on the lining of the box. Maxwell almost missed his flight because he had to remove all the sharp edges from the box. After Maxwell found his seat on the plane, he talked to the air hostess about Mijibil. The air hostess kindly asked if he would like to keep his pet with him. Maxwell gracefully opened the box. In a flash, Mijibil jumped out of the box and sped down the aircraft. There were shrieks and crashes as passengers, unused to otters, panicked at the sight of him. The hostess asked Maxwell to take a seat while she looked for Mijibil. Soon after, Mijibil came running to him. Maxwell and Mijibil stayed for a month in London. Mijibil invented his own game of ball during this time. He would roll the ball on one side of an old suitcase and then run to the other side to catch it. He would also accompany the narrator on walks. On these walks, the narrator faced a lot of questions as to what kind of an animal Mijibil was. Some believed him to be a baby seal or a squirrel, while others thought him to be a walrus. Still others believed him to be a hippo, a beaver or a bear cub. However, Maxwell decided that the prize for the best surprised reaction would go to a leverer. This laborer stopped and stared as the narrator came close with Mijbil. He angrily demanded to know what Mijbil was supposed to be.